This video is sponsored by Vitcher. I'm currently playing Diablo 4 on a 120 inch 1080p screen that exists inside these glasses. So on my face right now is a pair of Vitcher 1 extended reality glasses. And look, I'm not gonna lie, I've been seeing these things going around the internet for a little while now, and I was kind of feeling a little left out. So when Vitcher reached out and asked if they could sponsor a video here on the channel, I said yes please send me a pair of these glasses. And I'll tell you right now, despite my hype for these things to come in, I was not disappointed with the final product. I'm taking these off because I need to see the camera, but essentially what these are, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is a pair of glasses that essentially put a 120 inch 1080p screen in the world in front of you. And you can do things like watch movies, watch YouTube videos, and even play games off of your Nintendo Switch, your PS5, your ROG Ally, your Steam Deck, pretty much any device you throw at this thing that has a USB PC or HDMI output will work with these glasses. And no matter what device you're using, it's going to be a cool experience. So for this sponsorship, Vitcher not only sent me the glasses, but they also sent me the neckband and the mobile dock, which all basically combined to give the thing three different ways to be used. The first way I used the Vitcher one was by connecting them to my phone with a magnetic cable that comes along with the glasses. And once you do that, you just pop it into the USB-C port on your phone and it'll mirror your phone screen right there in front of your eyes and it looks great in vertical form but once I opened up YouTube and turned it horizontal it was such an awesome experience that the simplicity really blew me away with. So when you're mirroring your phone to the glasses it's super simple to control. It has a volume rocker right here on the left arm and then there's a third button that basically flips it in and out of VR and AR mode. So in one mode it's going to lighten the world around the screen so you can see the world around you and then in the other mode it's going to darken the world around the screen and make you feel like you're essentially in a private movie theater. But you can still see some little hints of the world around you, and that's what makes it an extended reality headset instead of VR or full-on AR. Vitcher are the only XR glasses that have native three degrees of freedom support. That means it'll lock the virtual screen in place, so when you move your head, it stays in one spot. The myopa adjustment feature is for people who wear glasses. You can use these two knobs on the glasses themselves to make the view clear for you. All you have to do is start on one side and adjust it until you see super clearly, and then move on to the other side and you're good to go. And look, I'm not the biggest mobile gamer in the world, but I figured I should put the glasses through their paces. So I went into a round of Pokemon Unite and it worked totally fine. Because your phone is just perfectly mirrored right there in front of you, you don't need to see where your thumbs are on the screen because the phone is in your hand. So even if you're playing a third person shooter like Fortnite or something like that, you should be just fine using these glasses. But using the glasses to mirror your phone screen is basically the bare minimum of what they can do. So if you really wanna unlock the true potential of the Vitcher One, you're going to need the neck band. I'm putting these back on so I can demonstrate how easy this process is. So you just put the glasses on and then you take the neckband and just put it around your neck like this. And then finally you take this little magnet cable, you bring it up to the side of the glasses and it snaps on right away. And once you do that, you hold this little button here for three seconds and the neckband will power up. And the reason I said this unlocks the true potential of the glasses is that having this neckband on and connected to them is basically like having a gaming PC on your neck. It's super light to the point where you can definitely forget it's there, but once it's connected, you get a whole operating system that's really Really nicely laid out. The neckband uses an Android based operating system that's super clean, nicely designed, and easy to navigate. Mine came pre installed with apps like YouTube and Max, but you could just go onto the Play Store and install anything you want, which I thought was a great touch. And navigating it is super easy because they have an included D pad here. So the default way the D pad on the neckband is set up is super intuitive. It's actually just rotated 90 degrees so that right is up, for example. But if that's not working for you, you can easily go into the settings and change it so that up is up. Oh, and there's also a Vitcher app available on the Apple App Store and on Google Play. The app is super cool because it lets you use your phone as a virtual touchpad for the neckband, but there's also a customizable D-pad included on the neckband that was super easy to navigate. And if you double tap the settings button, it puts the neckband and the glasses into ambient mode, which lightens the world around you and puts the screen in the bottom right quadrant. So you can see what's going on in front of you, but have a little picture in picture heads up display down there, which is honestly pretty cool. Like I had to run upstairs to turn on my PS5 and I just did that with the ambient mode and I kept the glasses on the whole time and I had no issue getting up and then back down. Now, Vitcher is also the official partner of PS Play, which means that the app is included for free with every neckband. It was incredibly simple to set up. All you have to do is go to system settings and then scroll down to remote play and then link your console to your actual neckband. And once you do that, you're good to go. And the coolest thing is once you connect your DualSense controller, not only does it work with PS Play totally fine, but when you close that app, you can still use the controller to control the actual neckband interface, which 
makes it even easier to just sit back, relax, find the content you want to watch and put it on a big screen in front of you. You can do all of that without even lifting your head off the back of the couch, which I think is really cool. All right, I don't know if you can see the reflection in the glass, like the screen in front of my eyes, but the headset is on. I have the neck band controlling it. And right now I have the PS Play app open. I'm gonna do local connect and find my console and just get right into some Diablo 4 and just kind of walk you through the gameplay as I'm playing it. All right, I have the volume all the way up just so the mic can catch some of the music and I will prove to you that I'm playing right now. So I'm moving around the stick. Hopefully you can hear my footsteps and here is the dodge in three, two, one. Just dodged, you heard my guy go, eh. So yeah, I am currently playing Diablo 4. I'm gonna turn down the volume right now. And yeah, it is literally a one-to-one -one experience. I have the full game directly in front of my eyes. I've got all the borders lined up perfectly. It's totally clear. And then if someone came down here and I wanted to talk to them, all I have to do is just double tap this button right here and it moves the screen to the bottom right corner of the frame and then I can see the world in front of me. Now the glasses are a little shaded, so they're like sunglasses, I guess you could say. But because of that, it makes it so that when you have it in AR mode, you can still see the world around you, but you'll still be able to see the screen. So all I have to do is put my PS5 in a rest mode, and then I go right here to the neck band, hit the home button, and then I can go right into YouTube, which is super simple and super easy. And then the third way you can use the Vitcher One is with this, which is the mobile gaming dock. It has its own built-in battery, and it's a way to power not only the glasses, but also beam out your Nintendo Switch directly to the glasses as well. And that's an experience I highly recommend specifically for the Nintendo Switch, because remember, Remember, the screen you're seeing on the glasses is 1080p and this thing could not be more simple to use it has the HDMI port that you can use for stuff like the PS5 it then has a nicely labeled switch USB-C port that'll also work on the Ally and the Steam Deck but if you don't need the extra battery power you can also connect the glasses directly to your Steam Deck and ROG Ally as well and then finally you've got two ports for glasses so if you're playing something like Super Smash Bros on your Nintendo Switch and you have two sets of these glasses you'll each see the screen as you're playing which is awesome so yeah Vitra gives you the ability to take the experience as far as you want to. You can use the neck band to remote play off of your PS5 or your Xbox Series X. You could even do that by connecting the glasses to your phone and using PS Play that way. Or you can use the mobile gaming dock and connect directly to your console. It's a really cool experience from top to bottom though, whether you're using any of these official accessories or not. So overall, my impressions of the Vitra One extended reality glasses are extremely positive. The best way I can describe what this thing is, is like if we reached into the future and pulled some technology back that we we never thought would be possible, but it was totally possible and it worked exactly how you thought it would. When I was reading the website, I was like, there's no way this thing is going to be as cool as it sounds. But now that I've spent quite a few hours playing a lot of video games wearing these glasses, I can tell you they are exactly as cool as they sound. So when you're ready to grab a pair for yourself, head over to vitra.com slash psready and use the code psready at checkout for 10% off your purchase of a Vitra One Cloud Pack. Oh, and to make it super easy, the link is also down in the description. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today here on PS Ready. As always, my name is Jimmy Champagne. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and shape on.